Hi everybody, welcome once again and in today's video you will understand the concept of deadweight loss. In order to explain the concept of deadweight loss, I have drawn two separate diagrams. One is for competitive market and the other one is monopoly. And I hope you know the concept of consumer and producer surplus but still uh, if it is not clear to you, I have shared the link in the description and you can have a look at the video related to consumer surplus and producer surplus. Now back to our topic. In case of competitive market, as we can see here that the equilibrium is established where market demand and market supply, they intersect each other and this portion represents consumer surplus. The extra benefit enjoyed by the consumer when he has to pay less than his willingness to pay for the product. Producer surplus is the benefit that is enjoyed by the producer for participating in the market. Producer surplus is the amount which is paid to the seller minus his cost of production. Marginal cost also represents the supply curve for a competitive market and price is equal to marginal cost for a competitive market. The same is not true for a monopolist. There is no supply curve for a monopolist. And in fact, the price is not equal to marginal cost for a monopolist. The sum of consumer and producer surplus is maximum in case of perfectly competitive market. And we can say that economic efficiency is maximized when the sum of consumer and producer surplus is maximized. But for a monopolist, uh, the price which is charged is in fact greater than a competitive market and output produced is less. And we'll see if we put these two pictures together in one frame that how the price which is determined in case of monopoly leads to loss of economic efficiency. The marginal revenue curve for a monopolist and this one is a demand curve. Let's draw the marginal cost curve. and this is the price to be charged by the monopolist quantity and if I compare this with that of competitive market So for a competitive market, this would be the price which is determined by the intersection of demand curve and supply curve and this would have been the output. Now if I mark the consumer and producer surplus for a competitive market, so let me change my marker. This portion represents this one above this line. This whole portion represents consumer surplus for a competitive market. Similarly, this whole portion, this one, represents producer surplus for a competitive market. This like a, B and C. This is the total consumer surplus for a competitive market. For a perfectly competitive market, consumer surplus is this area A plus B plus C, this whole area and producer surplus is D plus E, this whole portion. But for a monopolist, the price which is charged by the monopolist is greater then perfectly competitive market and the quantity is less. So only this portion A represents the consumer surplus in case of monopoly and we can uh, write it like this. For a monopoly, consumer surplus is represented by this area A. So there is a loss of consumer surplus. 
and producer surplus here is this whole area this whole area represents producer surplus b plus d so overall there is a loss of this e portion in terms of producer surplus and the c portion in terms of consumer surplus so overall there is a loss of this total portion c plus e so this portion c plus e represents dead weight loss this portion c plus e represents dead weight loss that is created as a result of monopoly power that is exercised by the monopolist since monopolist is looking for profit maximization and not for maximizing economic efficiency the price which is charged by a monopolist is higher than that of perfectly competitive market and output less than perfectly competitive market